All right. So this is my mess. I got all these. All these things. But these things, it came bent, and I knew it was gonna do it. But I broke it when I was bending it back straight. But I repaired it with some JV weld. Anyways, it goes on. It goes on these. These are plastic axles, and I had some aluminum tubing. I put that over the edge, and I was going to make it so that I still might, but. I decided that was a lot of work and I'm not real good at that. I don't really have the tools and patience to do that right now. So I stopped doing that and I just ordered some metal ones, which I thought was kind of funny too, because I went to the local hobby shop and they, uh, they didn't, they didn't sell aftermarket pieces for like changing your RC car which I thought was really kind of stupid of them this is what I started making on my own <laughs> trying to solder it together there and not a real good job but these are better than my first ones. <laughs> yeah, so I made that. This is my 18 volt glue gun. So this here is styrene. This is gonna be. This is this is the body for it, and it comes in. When it when you buy it, it's just a cheapo one. It's all one piece. This is all solid above it. But I, I cut it all out. I cut the doors out. I haven't put hinges on it yet. I haven't painted anything yet either. But that's like a, you know, a little door for it. And then that's my roll cage. I'm gonna do the roll cage in silver so that, I mean, I wouldn't do it in silver on my car, but, wow, that looks bent on there. It's not though, <laughs> weird. Um, but I want it to stand out, you know, I'm doing all this work. And so, this here is the, the body. It's been sitting a long time, so it got dirty. So I'll, I'll, I'll uh, clean it up before I paint it. But anyways, you get these here batteries and I wanna put them parallel so that they can be like a bigger battery. But those suckers go in there like that. Maybe I do it like this. Boom. And then we'll go. Boom. So I get two batteries in there. 
and then those plug in. And that's in my, that's in the hood. Uh, let's go for the whole effect. I've been working on this thing for a while. But I just started, you know, back into it. I got all the... I wired it up for uh, four-wheel steering. And that's why I started messing with the axles. That'll, that'll have supports on it. I'm hoping to make it so that it can lean forward so you can... You know, get in there. Um, let's see here. Can you see that? I didn't go to town on it, but I put a dashboard in there, you know. It's got a glove box. Where is it at? There, there's a little handle on the glove box. <laughs> Everything's underneath the seat there. All right, so that guy back on there now I have it I have it so that the oh don't tell me you're not gonna fit I have it so that the hood could open up and all that got this guy here he's holding on to the steering wheel I started making put this guy in there So, this is the cheapest RC car that I could buy. Um, it's only one gear. It's got that little motor in there. It's not fast. It, it crawls pretty good though. And uh, anyways, it felt like a toy when you would drive it. So I built this metal frame. It's about it's about seven pounds, ten pounds. And so it, it makes the car really like twice as heavy as it used to be. And then I'm running two servos on it that'll be mounted to the body. So then you got the body on there like that. A piece will come in here like this. Is just so I could see what was going on would we'll do one side of the hood so you can see what that looks like if I can get the tape off jeez major fucking tape put fucking lean in fine tuning I might have to lower the low bar just a skosh you see I got these magnets on here I'm gonna put a piece of metal stripping around there and then I'll have hinges and then that'll 
that'll just keep the hood closed. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, some metal around the edge of the door and maybe so I can bend the window just a little bit too. Um, and then I'll have a, a, ma a magnet inside here so it'll just like that. And then I'll put door handles on there and some mirrors. I'll, I'll do up the outside, but I'm, I'm working on the inside now. I have to reconfigure all this a little bit, but it'll have a solid, it'll have a bed that you could use, which like before this was just flat across the top and it, it was, there was nothing. I mean, it was such a cheap toy. Um, I'm really having a lot of fun with it. These are the tires that came on it. Little plastic guys. It, this weighs like nothing. And I I got the... I started out with gold because I had some already that was gold. I know the silver would be cool, but... This is like a fantasy thing, so... Anyways. I got, I got these... Stupid gold chains from Walmart for like a dollar fifty or something. Get a whole bunch, and then I just spent some time with the with the pliers. Made up some studded tires. <laughs> but you see that's. The truck is really big now. So I lifted it, it'll, it'll be like that when the thing's on there. But then I went to these tires. These are the same tires I have on my Rocky Super Swamper I Rock. Yeah, I don't have beadlocks or anything because, I mean, it's not real. I could do like a little plastic one if I wanted to. Which m might be cool. Plasticine one or something. Dope ass tires. These are good tires in real life. I love these tires. But, uh, boom. Let's see how she's. It'll be like that. Boom. Those shocks. Oh, here. I got the old shocks. You can see them in the package. Uh, they're a little bit shorter than the other ones. So I went to 110 millimeter shocks on there. And they're all adjustable so you can make them stiffer and not as stiff. I mean, these aren't bad shocks. It, for the toy that it was, it, they're, they're really good, actually. That's why I saved them. But I plan on, you know, keeping this one modified, but not really, like, using it. This is just kind of a, a step in my RC plane. But then, I've got this. This looks like, this is a Suzuki Samurai, and it looks like my Rocky. I, I'm gonna have to, you know, change the body just a little bit, maybe, just do, maybe do, just put a Dahatsu logo on it or something like that. I'm, I'm going to fudge it. But my car has a, a back, and some Suzuki's do too. But it has a back that goes on here like this. And it looks different than the Suzuki one. So when I do that, that should, uh, that should make it look cool. Like, a like the Rocky. And then I'll, then I'll build it. If I can do it, I wanna, I wanna do it with this. This is, 
I had an 18 volt weed eater and the motor's in really good shape. Uh, but something something bound up on it and I didn't have time to work on it so I just went and bought a new weed eater and uh, now I have this one and I took it apart because <laughs> I, I wanted the motor and I'll, I'll put the motor in there kind of like a regular car type of thing I was looking online on YouTube and stuff there's ways to set it up but I also saved the board and all of the all the switches and everything like that and as far as I know it works and if it doesn't maybe I can just learn about the board stuff I made this I made this uh, light bar I think it goes that way Just to, you know, playing around. They they sell them really expensive, and this is like one of my first projects. It's kind of interesting because it has the the LEDs inside there. I never did that before. Um, who knows? I, what I was gonna do is because it it's not really the right kind of dimensions. I think I was, it's been a long time too. I think I was gonna have it sticking out to the front like that. Cause I like those louvers that they put on the trucks. And then I was gonna have the, the top basket on the top. Kind of blend into it so it doesn't look cheesy. And as, since I started working on it, I was thinking of putting those, those uh, like some rails they go up and over. I'd do a double of this or something. So they have two two of those rails. So you can still use the bed, like a canopy skeleton. And then you can put the, uh, I'll make like a little tent to go on the top, the rooftop tent. Yeah. Oh, but this one, since I had the weed eater and all that, I was I was hoping to to make it so that and maybe this one, it looks like it'll be just about right. So this is a four amp hour uh, battery, which I bet you would run the car for quite a while. Um, obviously it wouldn't go this way. I'm just doing it so you, you can sit there. So I would put the plug-in mechanism underneath there. So you take the lid off and then you have the battery and you just pop the new battery in, pop the, new, the other one in. And they're a good weight though, so maybe Maybe I'll have to rethink that. I don't know. Because they're so heavy. I don't want to. I could also just use. Um, the small battery that comes with this stuff. A lot of times. Yeah. I'm a bachelor right now. So. Don't say anything about the house. Because. It'll all be clean before she gets back. I don't have a little battery to show you. Anyways, I got this thing. So you can have it clip in. <laughs> like that. All right, well, that's a 20 minute video of just looking at my my big mess. That's funny. Here's the bumpers that came on it. I was gonna build, I was gonna build a metal bumper because I was thinking of upgrading the motor and that. I've, I've built it, uh, I've built it to the point where the, it'll, it'll do everything I've asked it so far, but it, it's starting to, the motor makes a different noise now when you're going up a big hill. <laughs> so I can't put any more weight on it, long story short. So I'll probably just do, maybe I'll change up these original bumpers 
since I have them, you know, I can put the lights in them easy, do all that stuff, and then put it back on there. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe nobody will even watch this video. This is just for fun. Me practicing talking in front of the camera. I really, I really enjoy this building of it. The driving is kind of not really all that much fun. It is fun, but I mean, that's more for like a kid, I think. But what I'm really enjoying is making like the obstacle course and things to for the car to drive on in the winter time when it when it snows i can i can build all sorts of stuff for it to drive on it's really fun all right well that's it i'm, I'm proud of this this is each one of these tires i have like a whole coat hanger inside it so uh maybe even more i'm not sure I want to redo it because they're kind of packed in there tight. But uh, like one tire, I think, is two. I think it's almost a pound. So, I mean, the thing gets heavy. It's going to be heavy when it's done. Yeah, I'd say that's probably eight pounds, nine pounds. And then you put uh, two more pounds on at least. <laughs> That's it. Everything's waterproof. <laughs> Thank you.